guys, Jeff McLean here from Rocky Mountain School of Photography. Today, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona at the Tether Tools headquarters in the Phoenix Photo District. We're gonna go in and talk to the good people here, talk about what they make, what they do, and some of the new products they have coming out on the market. Let's check it out. Hi. Hi, welcome. Thank you, I'm Jeff. I'm Lauren, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Lauren Simons, yes. Tether Tools. Yes. So we're here in Phoenix, Arizona in the Photo District. Uh, here at the Tether Tools headquarters. Yes. So tell me, what do you guys do here at Tether Tools? Sure, so here at Tether Tools, we make solutions for photographers that help them improve their workflow. Overall, um, we're best known for our cable and wireless transmitters that help you move an image immediately from a DSLR, mirrorless, or format camera, medium format camera, excuse me, directly into uh, tethering software. Um, so you can do that with a cable, or you can do it with a wireless transmitter. From there, once you're connected and seeing your images uh, much larger, you then can mount your technology. Uh, if you're shooting in a studio, we make stands and mounts, tether tables. Um, if you're shooting to an iPad or a more mobile solution on location, we make iPad mounts and battery power for location so that you're always up and ready to be uh, shooting and, and getting the right shots. Cool. Can you take me down to take a look at some yeah, of these things? Yeah, absolutely. Come on in. So we are uh, big music fans around here, so you'll see a lot of music uh, posters and, and uh, imagery here. And this is um, our main office here. We do have a little uh, retail space and shop here that uh, customers can come in and see all the different solutions that we offer. Um, and for the most part, like I said, we make cable transmission systems as well as wireless transmission systems. So why would a photographer want to connect their camera to a computer? Sure, so there's a lot of reasons that photographers would want to shoot tethered. One of the main reasons is to be able to see your images much larger. If you're shooting and you see an image on the back of an LCD screen, you're not really getting a full resolution of that image. Once you have that image on a larger screen, you can see a lot better what your um, critical focus is, you can check your histogram, you can see a lot more data on that image and really make sure that you've got the shot. Uh, there's nothing more frustrating than shooting all day, uploading a card at the end of the day and going, oh, I thought that was in focus, or oh, I didn't quite see that item in the background. I would have liked to have moved that out of my shot or maybe a, a hair across an eye that you wanted to move. So visibility is one of the main reasons. Another really big benefit is if you're shooting with other people, say a subject, um, if you're doing headshots or if you have a client that you're shooting for, being able to see the image on a large screen lets you communicate much better. So you're able to collaborate on your work and create a better end image at the, uh, at the end of your shoot. Cool, and is yeah. it just cables that you work with to do this? No, so cables are the most common way that people connect in, um, and typically you'd be connecting a camera to a computer, Mac or PC, and shooting directly into a tethering software programs such as Capture One, Smart Shooter, or Lightroom. Uh, and then we also do wireless solutions that allow you to go either to an Android or iOS um, phone or tablet, or you can also go wireless into a computer. Wow, tell me about some of these wireless devices. Sure, so Case Air uh, is our wireless solution that we launched about three years ago. That's a really great solution that lets you shoot and move the image instantly to any phone, tablet, or computer. In that situation, you're using our Air Remote application, and you can see the images instantly. Um, it actually has two-way control, so you can uh, change all your camera settings and trigger from the device itself. And so that works with any Canon or Nikon cameras and any phone, tablet, or, or computer device. Recently, we introduced a new solution um, called the Air Direct, and the Air Direct allows photographers uh, to shoot directly into their tethering software of choice. So if your typical workflow is to shoot into Smart Shooter or Capture One, um, Canon EOS Utility, Lightroom, maybe you're using Helicon or Astro DSLR, if you want to shoot directly into that software, you can now do so wirelessly. Are there any limitations to the Case Air versus... Sure, so the main difference there is um, Case Air supports Canon and Nikon cameras. Air Direct supports any camera that's supported by tethering software. Uh, tethering software uses picture transfer protocol. Um, what we've developed is the ability to have wireless picture transfer protocol. So for Sony, Fuji, Panasonic, Olympus, Nikon, Canon, uh, even the medium format brands, you can shoot directly from those cameras into your tethering software of choice through our Air Direct wireless. Well, wow. how long does it take for an image to populate into the program? Sure, so one of the main benefits of Air Direct is it allows you to shoot RAW plus JPEG, and it will sh uh, send the JPEG image very quickly, and then the RAW image, being a much larger file, will take a little bit longer to send. But as you're shooting, you can very quickly look and see those JPEG images coming up on your screen and do quick glimpses and catch. Then when you take a break from shooting and you want to look at those images, you can pull up that RAW image right in your own catalog and in your own tethering software to see all of the data on the image that you want. So wow. not really really that many limitations at all, actually. It opens up a lot of opportunity for, for photographers. Wow, very cool. So yeah. today is October 18th, 2019. When was this Air Direct launched? So we just introduced this on Tuesday this week. So wow. you're, uh, yeah, you're really early on that. Um, we just introduced it. It's very exciting. The uh, market is, has been asking for this for a long time, and so we're thrilled to be able to bring it to photographers. Um, it will start shipping later this fall. 
Great. And what is the suggested price of this? Right sure. Now? It's going to retail for uh, 329 329 Yeah. Wow. It sounds awesome. Yeah. I'm looking forward to testing it out later. Great. Well, let's make sure that happens. Awesome. All right. Great meeting you, Laura. You too. Thanks, yeah, Jeff. Thank you. Hey, I'm Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Josh Simons. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we're going to be uh, doing a little demo of the Aero Direct. Oh, fantastic. Looking forward to showing you. Yeah. Show me what this thing's all about. Okay, so uh, the first thing that you want to do if you're going to go to Capture One is you're going to want to make sure that the device is on ADU. That will go to any tethering software communicating with the computers like it's uh, uh, with a cable. If you want to go to an iOS device or an Android device, then you switch it to the mobile and then it switches over the, um, the software that it's running on there so that it'll communicate with, um, with a mobile device. So we'll leave it on ADU and then you can check which um, frequencies you want to go in depending upon what region you're in. If uh, speed's more important, uh, five gigahertz. If distance is more important, you'll get a little bit better range out of the 2.4. Uh, you've got your power switch right here. Uh, the green light shows that it's powered, and then the blue light will start flashing in a second as it starts to create an internet, um, a one-to-one -one connection. It starts broadcasting its, uh, um, its signal. Uh, you have the um, uh, Canon battery, interchangeable, where you can um, hot swap these out pretty quickly, and you also have a DC port here where you can use larger um, external battery packs. Uh, you can plug it into a wall for continuous power. So you have multiple um, ways of, uh, of powering the device. Is this being received by the wireless card that's in the computer? Uh, so what you do is you just log on to the AirDirect network, just like you would with um, any other network. So now these two are communicating. You still also have the option to bridge to uh, external internet as well through the software. Um, but uh, right now we're just doing a one-to-one -one connection. You launch the ADU, which should be on here. And what it will do now is start communicating with the, uh, uh, with the device. So it's saying that it's connected. This is the Air Direct Utility. Yeah, the Air Direct Utility. So this runs in the background while you're using whatever uh, tethering software you want. And then what it will do is connect just like it thinks uh, it's with a cable. And now it, uh, uh, you have all the features of Capture One uh, in here. So if you wanted to change your amount um, aperture priority, you can change your aperture, you can change your ISO, um, you can change um, you know, your metering, all the features oh, that are- White balance? White wow. balance, no problem. Um, so whatever features are available in Capture One are completely available uh, in here. So go ahead and, uh, and you can see that it will, populate in. Wow, that's about as fast as a cabled connection too, really. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, comparable. Yeah, on um, uh, JPEGs, you're looking at about one second. RAWs, you're looking at about six to seven seconds, but it also depends on which camera you're using and how large the files are. Um, if you're wanting to shoot RAWs, we recommend shooting JPEGs, JPEGs plus RAW. Uh, all the JPEGs just start coming in, the RAWs coming in behind it. Uh, but the RAWs uh, are, are pretty quick. In so that's, a, that's a D800, so that's a pretty beefy Nikon file. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, uh, it handles it pretty well. And that is because we've got um, the uh, uh, two large antennas in here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not coming out of a metal housing. Uh, it's all designed for transfer. Uh, so uh, um, that's why we're able to get the, uh, the signal. So yeah, you can see it. Uh, uh, they come in pretty, pretty good. And yeah, any tethering software uh, it'll work with, uh, Lightroom, Capture One, Smart Shooter, uh, and even some of the more esoteric uh, uh, tethering softwares for, for macro photography, focus stacking, um, any type of software that connects the camera to a software and uses what's called um, picture transfer protocol. And so we've developed uh, technology that will allow you to create that virtual connection through the PTP. So anytime you have a software that, that is using PTP, um, this will work with it. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for showing me the demo here. Yeah. Appreciate it, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> so there it is, you guys. Air Direct, wireless tethering, wave of the future. This little puppy, going to be retailing at 329 coming up later this fall, uh, 2019. It's powered off a standard Canon LPE6 battery. You can hot swap that thing. You can pop it out. It'll still stay tethered. You can pop a new battery in. Uh, it'll mount to either the hot shoe on the top of your camera. 
If you need that spot for, say, triggering strobes, then um, you can get an, a standard L bracket for your camera, and they're going to be making a little mount that'll mount to any L bracket um, that you can get from a number of manufacturers. Uh, it'll connect with Canon, Sony, Nikon, Fuji, Olympus, a number of cameras, Capture One, Lightroom, Smart Shooter, a few more software programs. Basically, whatever you're able to tether to currently, it's going to be able to work wirelessly with that program. Pretty cool stuff. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can hit the thumbs down. Comment down below, we'll get back to you. If you'd like to see more of this content, hit the subscribe. Hit that little bell, we'll let you know when new content is posted. Thanks to Canon and B&H and Tether Tools, all for making this video possible. I'm out of here, I'm heading back to cold Montana, out of this 80 degree Arizona weather. <sighs> Thanks for watching.